Hey everybody on YouTube, what is up? I am the Titan 1138 welcome to my channel, and guess what? It's time for another movie review. I like that. In light of a recently released remake, I've decided that now would be an excellent time to do another review. Because that's what I'm trying to do with my channel, you know? Like so many of you out there. So, yeah, I'm trying to get on board with all this, you know? I'm trying to ride that wave. I'm trying to surf that turf. I'm trying to find a creative segue to break into at this point. Fuck it, this is Point Break. Now, I'm not here to talk about the 2015 Point Break shit take. Yeah, I did the remake. I'm here to talk about the action-packed, adrenaline-pumped, skydiving, wave-riding, crime-thriller masterpiece that is the original Point Break. Yeah, Mr. Titan, sir, I thought the 2015 movie was the original. Oh, no, 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 boys and girls, no. This is the original. This 1991 action film was directed by Catherine Bigelow, who directed other recent works such as The Hurt Locker. Catherine Bigelow was also once married to director James Cameron, who served as executive producer on this film. The story was written by W. Peter Illiff, who also wrote for such films like The Patriot Games, and yes, even the 2015 Point Break should take yeah, a remake. The film stars the, at the time, young and upcoming actor Keanu Reeves, and Dirty Dancing Ladies Man, the late great Patrick Swayze. Another action familiar was Gary Busey, and the film also starred uh, blue-eyed beauty Lori Petty as a sexy leading lady. This wasn't Keanu Reeves' first action role, nor was it his first crime-based movie, but it was a big step away from his Ted Logan persona from his Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, which always seemed to follow him around. Patrick Swayze was no stranger to physically demanding action roles, and he fit the bill perfectly for this movie. And to be honest, I think this was the first time I'd ever seen him play a villain. Alright, now, sure, these days, people can find plenty of things to nitpick about. But what was wrong with this movie? <laughs> Absolutely fucking nothing. The writing was good, the story was good, the directing, photography, stunts, action, comedy, suspense, plot, mystery, drama, romance, conflict, it was all good. Unlike the 2015 Point Break remake, which had every extreme sport you could think of, the original Point Break had only skydiving and surfing, and that was all it needed. Anything more than that, it would have taken away from the story. Now, if there's one thing I can pick about this movie, it would be the story. Not that it isn't any good, because it is, but it's all too familiar. Example, when I first saw The Fast and the Furious, the first thing that came to my mind was, holy shit, this is Point Break. I mean, they went from surfboard to wheels, adrenaline to NOS. Bullshit. Point Break ain't nothing like Fast and Furious. Oh, really? Pay attention, class. Point Break. Young FBI goes undercover to solve robberies, makes friends in the community, falls in love with a girl, finds out his friends are the bad guys, climactic city chase ensues, good guy lets bad guy go. The Fast and Furious. Young cop goes undercover to solve robberies, makes friends in the community, falls in love with a girl, finds out his friends are the bad guys, statewide chase ensues, good guy lets bad guy go. Huh? Oh, uh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, there's nothing wrong with taking a story that works and adding some new twists for a new audience. And, like The Fast and the Furious, the original Point Break works. The 2015 remake? Mm, not so much. I mean, within the first month of its release, it received an overall rating of only 8% on Rotten Tomatoes. Now that's bad. I used to watch this movie again and again on VHS when I was 15 years old, and I always wondered if they could ever come out with a sequel someday. Sadly, we had to wait 24 years. Not for a sequel, but for a poorly rendered remake. I've always enjoyed this movie, and I was happy to have found it on DVD. It's a great action flick, and it's fun to watch. But hey! Don't take my word for it. Pick up a copy for yourself, enjoy the nostalgia trip, and draw your own conclusions. That about does it for this review, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm the Titan 138. If you liked this video, click on the button, uh, leave a comment in the box below, share your thoughts. Uh, don't forget to click on subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.